everybody, Holly here from Holiday Any Day. And today I decided to make kind of an old school appetizer, real simple, bruschetta. We've all had bruschetta. Recently I kind of became enamored of it again after many, many years. And I played with the recipe last week and came up with this one. Um, they can be real watery, they can be real chunky, they can be hard to eat. So here's kind of what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some plum tomatoes, I'm gonna pop off the end, cut them up. And to keep them from getting too watery, we're gonna scoop out the middle. And you could totally use this for something else. You could save these, the insides, and use it for maybe you know, spaghetti sauce, tomato sauce, whatever. But if you leave it in, there's too many little seeds and it gets too wet. Okay, so then what we'll do is slice it real thin. And just think about when you're gonna eat it, you want the pieces to be fairly small so they're easy to eat. Okay, so before we add the basil and the garlic, I want to add some salt. And I gotta grab my salt because I forgot it. So I add a bit of salt. Now what the salt's gonna do, as we all know with tomatoes, we need to put salt on our tomatoes to bring out the flavor. So we're gonna let those hang out for a few minutes. In the meantime, let's go ahead and chiffonade of some of our basil. We all know what that means. If you don't, go to my website to find out. But we roll it up and cut it in little slivers. Let's just run another knife through it so the pieces are a little bit smaller. We're gonna take a baguette, a real simple baguette, buy at the grocery store. You can buy the pre-done little toasts, but they're really thick and really hard, and they're gonna be hard to eat. So just, this is very simple, I'll show you. Just cut it real thin. On the diagonal, a little prettier that way. And then, we're just gonna very simply toast these in a hot pan. Okay, let's take these over to the pan. And I'm just gonna put a teeny weeny bit of olive oil in the bottom of my pan, okay? Not too much. It's a little simpler than trying to brush olive oil on every single piece of bread. And I'm just gonna move them around a little. And I tried this with Pam, it didn't work so good. It was a total mess in the pan. So just use a little olive oil, okay? And all we're gonna do, lay these little guys in here like so. Okie doke, they're starting to smell and get a little toasty, so we'll flip them over. I'm using my fingernails because I have long nails. Just, just enough to firm them up a little bit and just give them a little bit of flavor. And also, you know what, when you toast them, then the bruschetta, the moisture doesn't soak in so much. You could also use a toast oven for this. It would work perfectly. I just don't happen to have a toast oven. Okie doke, it's probably been about three or four minutes. And I think they are ready to roll. Toasty. Okie doke, now we can assemble the bruschetta. Okie doke, my toasts are done, and the tomatoes have been sitting for a few minutes. You can see when you do uh, let them sit with uh, the salt, they do release a little bit of a liquid. So to these guys, let's add our garlic, our basil, Grab and give it a touch, just a touch of olive oil. Not too much. I would say it probably could use a dash more salt. Okay. Then, I mean, look how easy that was, and look how bright and fresh. And it's not even summertime. That's the other thing with the salt. It'll help make your tomatoes taste much brighter, just like it's summertime. Also, what would be tasty in here would be caper, so I think that'd be a real good addition. So all we're gonna do is place a little bit on each toast. Also, you could easily put this on fish or on chicken. Anything would work. Anybody? Okay. 
there you go. It's easy breezy.